the candidates who are uh, candidates from uh, parties. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm about to make the declaration. Once I've made the declaration, I will provide the opportunity for the successful candidate to make an address to the audience. I'm Martin Kimber, being Acting Returning Officer at the election for a Member of Parliament for Rotherham constituency on Thursday 29th November 2012 give notice that the number of votes recorded for each candidate is as follows. Michael Beckett, 451 votes. Brian Clint Bristow, known as Clint Bristow, 29 votes. Sarah Deborah Champion, 9,866 votes. Jane Maria Collins, 4,648 votes. Yay! Simon Keith Copley, 582 votes. Yay! Paul Dixon, 51 votes. Ralph Dyson, 261 votes. Marlene Guest, 1,804 votes. Yay! Yvonne Ann Ridley, known as Yvonne Ridley, 1,778 votes. Yay! David Basil Wild Goose, 703 votes. Simon Francis Wilson, 1,157 votes. There are 46 rejected papers, and I hereby declare that Sarah Deborah Champion is duly elected to serve as the Member of Parliament for the Rotherham constituency. is back on the side of British people. I'm not a career politician. My first job was here in Rotherham and for the last four years I've been extremely proud to run Bluebell Wood Children's Hospice, helping local families through difficult times and giving something back to my community. I've never stood for election before but when I see the damage that David Cameron is doing to Rotherham, I can't and won't stand and watch. Cameron's Tories have shown what they think of Rotherham. And today, this result tells David Cameron what Rotherham thinks of the Tories. <laughs> it's a victory for one Rotherham where all our communities work together for the benefit of our town. And it's a vote for Ed Miliband's One Nation Labour Party to rebuild Britain so it works for everyone, not just the privileged few at the top. I'm honoured to be elected to fight Rotherham's corner and put Rotherham first. I will serve as your MP, as I have served at Bluebell Wood Children's Hospice not for what I can get out of it, but for what I can put into it. Mr. Presiding Officer, thank you and your team for an efficient election operation. To the other candidates, thank you for your courtesy. Thanks to South Yorkshire Police for ensuring a safe election. Thanks to Paul Nicholson, my agent, to the local Labour Party members and councillors and the whole Labour team 
who worked morning till night and a bit longer for the past three weeks. Most of all, thank you to the people of Rotherham of this great town for electing me as their first ever woman MP for Rotherham. But you all know the hard work starts now. Tomorrow I'll start dealing with the many issues constituents have raised with me during the campaign. And on Monday, my first job will be delivering Rotherham's message to David Cameron's government. Mr Cameron, listen to Rotherham. Learn the lessons after two years of economic failure. Use next week's autumn statement to change direction. We need you to take real action to get the economy moving and get Rotherham back to work. Thank you all. Ladies and gentlemen, it simply remains for me now to wish you all a good evening and a safe journey home. Thank you very much and to thank my staff for all their hard work.